Hello and welcome to another one of our Photoshop tutorials. Today we're going to be going over how to create a retro style airbrush painted look. If you're new to our channel, please be sure to click on the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is open up the subject image that you'd like to work with today. If you would like to use this image here, there'll be a link available in the description for download. Next, we're going to press Ctrl J to duplicate this layer. And I am going to go into Filter, Other, and select High Pass. We're going to set our radius to two pixels and click OK. The next thing we're going to do is change the blending mode of this uh, High Pass layer to Linear Light. Next, we're going to press um, Control, Shift, Alt, and E on your keyboard to merge all layers. So now that we have our merged layers, we're going to go into um, Filter, select Stylize, and we're going to add Oil Paint. So the stylization that I have for this image is set at 2. We'll leave our cleanliness maxed out to 10. My scale for this particular image is 1, but if you're working with a different image, you might want to increase or decrease your scaling. My bristle detail is set to 10, and your angle and shine are really just your preference. You'll select OK when you have the settings of your choice. And the next thing we're going to do is duplicate this layer, and we're going to change the blend mode to overlay. This is to help bring out the colors, make the colors more vibrant. And now that we have our duplicated overlay layer, we're going to switch to our channels. And in your channels panel, you're going to control click on the RGB layer. This is because we want to select the highlighted areas. So we'll go back to our layers panel and we'll press control J to paste our highlights into a new layer. We're going to change the blending mode of our highlights to vivid light. And we're going to lower the opacity of our vivid light highlights to 80%. We'll select OK. Go back to your channels panel and control click on the RGB layer once more. Go back to your layers panel. Control J to paste that selection in. And what we're going to do with this selection is set your foreground color to white and control click on the um, newly created layer. And we're going to fill this with white. So I'll press Alt and Backspace now that I have my selection up. And I'm going to press Control D on my keyboard to deselect. The next thing we're going to do is Press Control, Shift, Alt, and E to merge all layers onto a new layer. And we're going to go into Filter, Filter Gallery. You're going to drop down the Artistic Menu tab, and we're going to select Poster Edges. You want to leave your edge thickness at zero, your edge intensity at zero, and your posterization maxed out to six. I'll press OK. And we're going to duplicate this layer, Control J. We're going to go into Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate. The next thing we're going to do is go back into Filter, select our Filter Gallery, and we're going to go into Stylize, Glowing Edges. Your edge width should be set to 1, your edge brightness set to 2, and your smoothness set to 1. You'll click OK. And we're going to change the screen mode. Uh, we're going to change the blending mode on this layer to screen. And we're going to lower the opacity to about 80, maybe 70%. So we'll change that to 70. That looks good there. The next thing we'll do is we're going to create a new layer above all, all of our layers here. 
and we'll go into edit fill and make sure you have your content set to 50% gray so if you click this little drop down menu you'll have an option to select 50% gray we'll click OK we'll go into filter noise and add noise your amount should be set to 20% your distribution should be set to Gaussian and you should have monochromatic selected we'll click OK and we're going to change this blend mode to overlay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a paper texture over our image so I have the paper texture available here and there's also going to be a link in the description for download so I'm just going to click and drag this over to my layer here and drop it in now I'm going to zoom out a bit press Control T and rotate this image so I'll rotate that there and I'll just place it in there and we're gonna set the blend mode to this paper texture we're gonna set it to soft light and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into um, your adjustment level your adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel and you're going to select color lookup at the very top you have a drop down menu here we'll select candle light here we go I'll zoom in and the last thing we'll do guys is change the opacity of our color lookup layer to 74 percent I'll press enter here with my color lookup layer selected I'm going to scroll down and while holding the shift key I'm gonna select the um, the subject copy layer the high pass layer and press control G to group all of these layers and now you can see the effect that you have added to this image here you have now completed the retro style poster effect if you're new to our channel please be sure to click on the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video please like and share it we're always looking for new content to upload so if you have any ideas for future tutorials or any um, tutorials that you would like us to upload please let us know in the comment sections below until next time